the second to last day of the readathon. It's like 6 30 in the evening. Um, I have not been reading the past two days. It is so hot, man. Texas, I'm gonna need you to cool it with the weather. Um, I just finished filming my TBR video for the Mermaidathon, which is starting the day after the um, reading rush ends. And I'm not even like halfway through a wrinkle in time, and I have not started less yet. So I'm gonna do my best to finish um, A Wrinkle in Time before the readathon ends. I don't have faith that I will finish or even get to less, but if I do, that'll be a plus. If I don't, it'll be totally fine. I read, I finished one book, and I'm going to try to finish a second book. That's all that matters is that I've been completing books, completing challenges. That's it. So... First things first, though, I gotta clean up my room. I'm not even gonna show y'all. My room was a hot mess. I came home from my sister's. I just kind of dumped everything out of my bed, pushed it all aside, and went to sleep. Um, so I'm gonna clean up my room, and then I am going to start... Do I want to edit the video first and put that up and get that up, or do I want to read first? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna read first. And then take a break from reading to edit and then go back to reading. Hopefully, hopefully I'll put a nice dent in it today. Um, but that is the plan. Um, while I'm sitting here kind of straining up, I'm watching, I'm rewatching Voltron. Man, that show was so good. Season 8 was trash, though. Like, you can't tell me that season 8 was trash. But the other seven seasons were immaculate. Um... Shiro and Adam should have had a chance together, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. Um, I don't have a reading update for you, um, but when I do, you guys will hear from me again. Bye! said like this like the kids in this book are like super pretentious i think that's the right word and like just don't talk like kids like here's calvin who's 14 and he's a junior in high school and charles wallace who everybody thinks is dumb but he's actually five having a conversation right uh where do i want to start this hmm Okay, tell us what you're doing here, Charles Wallace said. What is this, the third degree? Aren't you the one who's supposed to be a moron? That's Calvin. Um, Meg flushed with rage, but Charles Wallace answered placidly, That's right. If you want me to call my dog off, you'd better give. Most peculiar moron I've ever met, Calvin said. I just came to get away from my family. Charles Wallace nodded. What kind of family? They all have runny noses. I'm third from the top of 11 kids. I'm a sport. Uh, at Charles Wallace's, um, at that Charles Wallace grinned widely, so am I. I don't mean like in basketball, Calvin said. Neither do I. I mean like in biology, Calvin said suspiciously. A change in gene, Charles Wallace quoted, resulting in the appearance in the offspring of a character which is not present in the parents, but which is potentially transmissible to its offspring. What gives around here, Calvin asked. I was told you couldn't talk. Thinking I'm a moron gives people something to feel smug about, Charles Wallace said. What? Why should I disillusion them? How old are you, Cal? Fourteen. What grade? Junior. Eleven. I'm bright. Listen, did anybody ask you to come here this afternoon? Charles Wallace, holding Fort by the collar, looked at Calvin suspiciously. What do you mean, asked? Calvin shrugged. You still don't trust me, do you? I don't distrust you, Charles Wallace said. Do you want me to tell you why you're here, then? Fort and Meg and I decided to go for a walk. We after, We often do in the afternoon. Calvin dug his hands in his pockets. You're holding out on me. So are you, Charles Wallace said. Okay, old sport, Calvin said. I'll tell you this much. Sometimes I get a feeling about things. You might call it a compulsion. Do you know what compulsion means? Constraint. Obligation. Because one is compelled. Not a very good definition, but it's the concise Oxford. Okay, okay, Calvin said. I must remember, I'm preconditioned in my concept of your mentality. And I'm reading this, and I'm just like, what five-year-old... And 14-year-old use words like concise, concept, and well, 14, I, I understand that, but 5-year-old, like, uses words like constraint, 
obligation, disillusion. And I and I understand that Charles Wallace is supposed to have like this kind of like sixth sense that tells him things about people, but like he's five. I don't know. Sometimes the way he talks just throws me off, and I'll just be like, I have to remember you're five and not twenty five. So mm, that's I don't know. It's it's, it's weird. But I don't mind it. Okay, I literally have like 20 or so pages left of this book, as you can see. I am so done with Meg at this point. Like, she's getting on my nerves. Like, um, she's going in the top 10 list of worst protagonists ever when it comes to the book. Like, she's, she's annoying. She gets on my nerves. She's making these dumb, stupid decisions. And she's just being a child and I realize she is but the other kids in this book don't act like she acts like she's purposeful not even I don't even know if it's on purpose or if this is how it's written but she's a terrible main character like I'll go and go into this more in the morning um when I don't have to whisper because the whole house is asleep and it's not two o'clock in the morning but just know that at this point, I'm not reading the book for her. I'm reading the book for Calvin, um, Aunt Beast, and Charles Wallace. That's it. Meg. She she voted off the island. Mm -mm. I would say good morning, but it's like 1 o'clock. <laughs> My dad woke me up. He was just like, you stayed up late, didn't you? I was like, of course. So last night, I filmed a clip. I thought it was 2 o'clock in the morning. It was actually 4 o'clock in the morning. By the time I finished the book... Um, and actually fell asleep. It was closer to like eight. I may or may not have accidentally been scrolling through my phone, um, through TikTok actually, seeing an anime, and I was just like, hmm, that was interesting. Let me just check out the first episode. Um, ten episodes later, <laughs> I fell asleep, and I was just like, it's like eight o'clock in the morning, bro, but it's fine. It's fine. Um... Anyways, so reading updates. So I finished A Wrinkle in Time last night, and this is very, okay, so I understand that this is like a kid's book, or it's it's a classic book, it is written, it is written for children, and so I tend to, when it comes to like middle grade books, and I don't read a lot of them, but when I do, I try not to be critical about them as an adult, because they're technically not written for me, and so if I criticize them as an adult, I feel like it will change, like, if, an, okay, so here's, here's a little quick thing. When it comes to middle grade books, sometimes I kind of get upset when people, um, who are older, especially, like, my age, I'm in my early 20s, um, criticize the books for, you know, not being realistic or things like that, um, and they're just like, oh my god, this is terrible, this is horrible, like, kids' books shouldn't be like this, right? I criticize the book because, like, for my taste, I'm like, this doesn't seem realistic at all, right? But that doesn't mean that the book itself is bad, just to me, that that doesn't seem realistic, and it doesn't seem plausible. But to an actual kid, right, that would, this story could be amazing. So I'm very hesitant to like give this book a like star rating because in my head this thing is anywhere from a two star to a four star book right if I was younger I probably would have given this book well I didn't have star rating back then but I probably would have given this book like four stars but as an adult like the whole back half of the book seemed like it was very much rushed the pacing was all over the place and I was just on, on literally having like whiplash like they planned like she, the main character, almost died, was saved by an alien race, recovered, went through emotional turmoil, planned the rescue mission, executed the rescue mission, successfully executed the rescue mission, then happily ever after, literally all in the course of about 30 pages. And I was like... So again, whiplash, because there would be a problem on one page, and boom, next page, solved. There were even times where there was a problem on the page, and you got to the bottom of the page, boom, solved. And I was like... So again, this book gave me whiplash, and I realized that as I was reading it, I was like criticizing the heck out of it, because I'm just like... This is a good book. Like, the plot of the story, like, was interesting enough to where, like, I sat there and I finished the whole thing um, last night. But, man, that Meg, the main character, could... 
kick rocks. Like, kick rocks, sis. I cannot stand her. So, that's kind of like my hot take. I could definitely go, like, a delve into this. Wow, hold on, back up. I could definitely delve into this deeper about, like, like I said, about adults criticizing or reviewing middle grade um, books. But at the same time, um, like I said, this book is not bad. It's just that it's not meant for me. And so I'm seeing a whole bunch of things and I'm pretty sure somebody 10 years younger than me would not notice. So officially, I'm going to give the book three and a half stars because, like I said, it's a really good book, right? This was written in 1963. The vocabulary is up there. There were a couple of times where I had to look up some of those words. So I was just like, and I had to look up some of the words that the five-year-old was saying. That was another thing that I just, that I just couldn't get over. I was just like, if I was like, I don't, I'm almost like, I, I realized that like, you know, they have dumbed down, um, like the vocabulary and vernacular, but I'm pretty sure a five-year-old, right? back then did not say words like inconsequential not that i had to look that up but i'm just like disillusioned and i'm just like what no um but again just just random things that i was just like it brought me out of the story but for somebody who's younger they're just like oh man this kid is like mystical and magical which i mean charles wallace is but for me it just kept throwing me off because i'm like this is a bit much like if he was like 10 right i been a lot better i'm like at five i'm like you can't even like i mean you can form proper sentences but like your speech pattern developmental wise is not that great but again coming at this from the perspective of an adult so officially i'm giving a wrinkle in time by madeline Lingell, 3.5 stars definitely um worth it it was a ma nice magical ride but like i said it's just some of the things you just have to put aside in order to get through the book and, and actually enjoy the story that she wanted to tell so there's that so um i only have one book to finish and that is less and i actually don't even know where it is i'm pretty sure it's in one of my bags that I brought home from my sister's house. I just don't know which one it is. But I have to, that's the book that I have to read completely outside. Here's the problem. So I have to edit and post up my TBR video for um, the Mermaidathon because that is starting tonight at midnight. Um, I also am probably not going to be able to finish less before the next readathon starts because I am doing a watch party of Pride and Prejudice um, with. Uh, Leah, Margaret, and a couple other people. Um, I've, ever, I've never actually seen Pride and Prejudice. I've never watched the movie. I haven't watched the Pride and Prejudice and Vampires? Zombies? Is it zombies or vampires? Something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's zombies, because I'm pretty sure vampires was Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. I think it was Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And then I, I never read the book either. It wasn't a required reading for me in school. So this will be a first for me. Um, they were excited. I was like, yeah, I've never, I've never seen it. So, you know, this will be a first for me. Uh, everybody who watches it apparently, like, loves it, but we'll see. Um, so I have that. And it's that 6 EST, which I think is, like, what is it, 6 or 7? I don't know, but I know that I'm an hour ahead of the East Coast. So if it's, they, if it's at 7, it'll be at 6 o'clock for me. If it's at 6 o'clock, then it'll be at 5 o'clock for me. So there's also that time constraint. And then also, um, I need to clean my room. Uh, my room is a mess. I just loaded up my first load of laundry, took out the trash in my room, took all the dishes out of my room. Um... And there's a couple other things, well, not a couple, uh, there's a few other things that need to get done. So my goal for today is to get the TBR video edited and uploaded onto my channel to successfully clean up my room and then get to the watch party. And then somewhere in between that time, whether I um, start less today and I finish it um, sometime during the um, Mermaidathon, or if I just don't start it and then I'll pick it up after the readathon ends. Because I, I really don't know what I'm going to end up doing. But I do want to get to less. I do want to dedicate myself to finishing it. And it's shorter than um, 
wrinkle in time in the rest scrolls of magic. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so today uh, is going to be like a frantic dash to the finish line. But I think this video thon went really well. I have read three books in the past week and a half. Yeah, in the past week and a half. I've That's more than I've read in the past four and a half months. So either way, this beauty thon was a success. I'm proud of myself. Um... And that's it. So join with me as we, you know, like I said, make that last little dash. That last little, yeah, that's it. That last little dash. I thought I was going to come up with another analogy. I didn't. <sighs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Don't mind me. I'm just in my room crying. Me and my dad just finished watching a dog's journey. <sighs> I'm trying not to cry, but my throat hurts. It's all constricted. But it's fine. It was such a good movie, though. Whew. It's fine. It was a great movie. I didn't expect it to be that that heartfelt, but it was. And I was just looking at my dog. I was like, <laughs> he's getting up there in age. It's fine. Whew. But it's not always about the destination, it's about the journey. <sighs> I'm done now, I'm just sad. I'm just emo, I'm fine. It'll be okay, I'll be alright. <sighs> I came outside to start reading um, Let's. Like I said, I'm not going to finish this today. I, I doubt it. And it's raining. I was going to sit and enjoy the wonderful sunshine. But Mother Nature was just like, no you're not. So, I'm sitting underneath, like, our gazebo, patio, porch, overhanging thing. I don't know what this is called, um, to read. Hopefully, I won't get soaking wet. But, um, yeah, I guess, uh, humidity is the theme of today. I don't know. I'm only 16 pages in and I'm totally invested in this story like dude how you gonna like marry somebody that you've only known for less than six months but we've been dating for nine years that's suspicious super sus right and I'm just like if they don't end up by the end of the book I think we're gonna be very dissatisfied I hope this is one of those happily ever after stories where like things work out in the end but I mean Again, only 16 pages in, and um, I'm invested. I'm invested in these characters and in their love lives. I hope Mr. Arthur Les um, gets his man. That's it. That's the whole story. That's it. I want him to get his man by the end of the story. If not, I'll cry. <laughs> well, it's actually a couple minutes to 6 p.m. for me. Um, I finished the first chapter of Les, and adult fiction reads a lot different than YA fiction does um in a way that like I can't necessarily put it into words but it's almost like you have to put like an extra layer of thinking on top of thinking about what you're reading because I guess it, it, might, it may just also just be this author but they write in a very roundabout way like first you'll be in the perspective of the main character then you'll be kind of like a third party omniscient character then you'll just be kind of like a third party character watching the main character 
And the events will go from what's happening currently to what happened before that, to what happened 10 years ago, 25 years ago. Oh, what's happening now again? Let's go back again to 10 years. Let's go back again to six months ago. And it took my brain a whole second to kind of like figure out what was going on. But once I did, I understood like the flow of the story a lot better. But um, I finished the first chapter. I think this is going to be very much like a tragic read and almost like a coming to self story. Um... But uh, I have high hopes for it. I think this is going to be a really good book. I'm not going to finish it today, and I'm most definitely not going to be able to finish it outside. I did start it outside, um, so I guess that kind of counts, but it's been raining, and it's coming down harder, and the way the wind's blowing, there's nowhere I can sit without getting wet. So, it ain't going to happen. But uh, for now, I'm about to start a, um, not start, join a Netflix watch party, um, Hosted by uh, Leah from Where in the World is Leah Jean. Um, Margaret is on there from The Word Nerd. Um, and then a couple other ladies who I don't know personally are on there. And we're about to watch Pride and Prejudice. I told you guys about this earlier that this was my first time watching it. Um, I just finished washing a load of laundry. So I'm going to be folding up laundry as we watch the movie. Um, we're waiting for a couple more people to join and then we're just going to get started. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we finished watching Pride and Prejudice, and I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, and it was a lot of fun to have like the ladies' commentary over on the side as we were watching it because we were cutting up it just being a mess. But um, it's about 9:30, it's 9:22, right? Um, PM reading rush ends at midnight, the mermaid hunt starts at midnight. Um, I'm only done with like 40 or so pages of this, I think. I'm going to finish this book, even if it goes into the Mermaidathon. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish less, even if it goes into the Mermaidathon, because I don't want to drop the book, even though, because I just started it. I'm going to get as far as I can before midnight. Right now, I'm making myself some dinner. Voila. Um, and then, when midnight hits, or right before midnight, I will... Excuse me. I will officially end... My reading rush vlog, and I will start my mermaidathon vlog. But until then, let me cook my dinner because your girl is hungry. <sighs> so I'm gonna call it a night. I was reading, um, but I was scrolling through Twitter. Something happened. Drama has started. People are doing what they usually do. Is they're just canceling based on the words of other people. And I'm just like, it just completely just threw my whole mood off. So I'm done reading. I'm not finishing less tonight. It's not happening. Um, I will start my Mermaidathon vlog tomorrow morning. But right now, I'm just, I'm just really upset and I'm really disappointed, right? Because it's the last day of the readathon. Like, I understand that there were things that happened that people felt were... in like like a like very ill-fashioned I guess the way it's putting it and like rude but at the same time it's just like y'all every time people make a mistake we can't just like cancel them I'm not gonna put this I'm not about to get into it because this vlog has been great it has been positive all I'm gonna say is that I have loved participating in the reading rush this year I had tons of fun it got me out of my reading slump so I'm very happy about that um, I will be delving in and doing my own, like, investigation, because, like, sometimes people jump to conclusions, and I'm not about, um, doing that. I'm, no, I don't do that. So I'm gonna do my own investigating, and I'll come to my own conclusion. Whether or not I participate in the Reading Rush next year will be determined. Um, but definitely, oof, man. For a community that does nothing but read books, we are always trapped in some kind of drama. Always. It doesn't doesn't matter what it's about. It doesn't matter. We always gotta have something going on, but it's fine. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, I really wanted to end this on a positive note. Um, water? Drink more water? But it is what it is. Things happen. But thank you guys so much for watching um, this vlog. I really hope this doesn't come out being, like, too long. Um, 
uh, that's it. I will say thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Subscribe me if you want more content from more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.